What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So as I continue with some more of my apartment upgrades, one of the more subtle things I was hoping to do was to upgrade my thermostat to this, the new Nest Thermostat E. I've actually been a longtime user of Nest products, namely with their cameras, but this is the first time I've ever installed or used one of their thermostats. The reason I wanted to swap out my old one is mostly because it's kind of ugly, but also it doesn't work all that well. It makes this loud clicking noise every time it turns on and off, and it's also just not very smart. With this Nest thermostat, you can set a schedule for your AC to go on and off during different parts of the day. It'll know when you aren't home and automatically shut off, and there's a bunch more great features that standard thermostats just don't have. And just so you guys are aware, there aren't too many differences between this newer Nest Thermostat E and the more expensive Nest Learning Thermostat that's been around for a bit longer. They both actually do offer the same features and capabilities. It's mainly the fit and finish and the screens that separate these two products, and you'll have to decide what looks best in your home. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a handyman. I don't mess with these kinds of things around the house really ever, so I was a little nervous with installing this. Fortunately, even for a complete newbie like me, it's very easy, and it's honestly something anyone can do with little to no experience. There's not a whole lot that comes inside the box here, just the thermostat that separates into two pieces and a trim plate to cover any holes in the wall. And there's a booklet of instructions, but Nest also has a number of video walkthroughs that are incredibly helpful as well. Before you even consider a Nest thermostat, you do need to be sure that it would be compatible with your home system. And that information is something you can find on Nest's website. Every house and apartment and building is a little different, so just be sure you're good to go before you start taking things apart. And also, very important, turn off the power to your house's AC using the breaker switch so you don't electrocute yourself. If you live in a condo like me, you can also just turn off the power to the whole place just to be safe if you don't mind fixing the clocks afterwards. As far as the installation goes, it's really just a matter of popping off the cover from your old thermostat first and then disconnecting the handful of wires that are connected. Everything is color coordinated and should be labeled properly already, but just to be certain, Nest includes some label stickers with the instructions so you can keep everything organized. When you have all the wires disconnected, you can yank off the old thermostat and also take off the old trim plate if there's one on already. You can see in my case, whoever set the system up decided they needed a monstrous hole in the wall just to get the job done here, so I'll need the new trim plate that comes inside the Nest package to cover it up again. When you're screwing everything in the wall, you'll notice there's even a built-in level, so you can make sure it's straight, which is really handy. After you've got the back plate and bottom half of the thermostat screwed into the wall, you'll go ahead and connect up the necessary wires onto the Nest thermostat. It's not very difficult, my only recommendation would be to maybe snip the tips of the wires to give yourself a fresh end to work with. If any of the wires aren't quite right, the Nest thermostat will actually tell you exactly which wire has a problem when you power it on so you can fix it. The final step step is just popping the front of the thermostat on, and like I said, if there's any sort of issue, it pops off easily too, so you can adjust the wires. But if everything is hooked up correctly, it should start up right after you turn the power back on, and you can begin the setup process. There's a lot of different options and settings to go through, including connecting to Wi-Fi, testing the AC and heating system, and a bunch of other stuff, so I won't bore you with all of that. But it is very straightforward, and most of the more complicated options are preset with the proper settings anyway, so you don't even have to know anything more besides just clicking continue. The other half of setting up a thermostat is by using the Nest app, of course. And this is also where you'll get the most use from the thermostat as far as setting up certain features, including the home and away assist, which allow the thermostat to conserve energy and turn off when you are at home, or set certain schedules during the day so the temperature is right when you come back. The app itself is very straightforward. You can, of course, adjust the temperature by just turning the dial or tapping the arrows. Down at the bottom, you can tap to change from AC to heat or even turn everything off completely. There's also the options for eco temperatures, which allow you to set a certain range of temperatures for when no one is home in order to conserve some energy and perhaps even cut down on your power bill. The Nest thermostat will keep the space in between a certain range when it senses no one's home and then automatically change back when you're there. You've got manual fan controls as well, which you can set to turn on in certain intervals. And if you really have an inconsistent daily routine each week, you can set up an entire schedule and set certain temperatures for certain hours or certain days throughout the week. So if you know you leave at 7 a.m. on Monday, Mondays, but don't head out until 11 a.m. on Wednesdays, you can set all that up through the app and make sure the AC or the heat doesn't run when you don't need it on any given day. Of course, you can also just walk up to the thermostat itself and use the dial to change the temperature or make any other adjustments. Anything you can do on the app, you can also do on the thermostat itself. Though I'll be totally honest here and say that it isn't as easy since you are using just the dial to control everything. But all in all, I do really like the look of the Nest E in my space. I have very plain white walls so it blends in well 
well. I like the gray and white color scheme on the UI. I think it looks really clean, and I'm very happy with how simple and straightforward it was to install. In the last couple of days, I've already noticed that my AC doesn't turn on and off so often and so inconsistently. I've also noticed that the temperature in my condo seems more constant as well. And most importantly, having the ability to set schedules has helped me out a lot too. The sun tends to hit my space pretty hard in the early morning, which requires the AC to run a little harder for a few hours, but the rest of the day, I don't need it much at all. And I can set that all up right through the Nest app. Overall, I'm just really happy with the thermostat, and I definitely recommend it if you're ready to ditch that old one.